Good morning. Today we are going to carve maxillary lateral incisor. So we are going to see about the permanent dentition maxillary lateral incisor. Okay. So these are the things we require for carving of maxillary lateral incisor. So we need a textbook showing the pictures of maxillary lateral incisor. We need the carver. We need the wax block. We need the Macintosh sheet. We need the scale, preferably a metal scale, and we need a marker pen for self identification of aspects. It may be buccal, it may be lingual, it may be distal or mesial. So for self analysis and for self identification, we need the marker pen. Okay. So let's see the dimensions of maxillary lateral incisor. So cervical incisor length of crown will be 9 millimeters length of root will be 13 millimeters mesio distal diameter of crown will be 6.5 millimeters mesio distal diameter of crown at the cervix it will be 5 millimeters labio or buccolingual diameter of crown will be 6 millimeters labio or buccolingual diameter of crown at the cervix will be 5 millimeters curvature of cervical line in the mesial side it will be 3 millimeters curvature of cervical line in the distal aspect it will be 2 millimeters so before going into the carving aspect you should know the dimension of each aspect to carve properly and get the morphology in a proper natural way so we should take a rectangular wax block okay and then we should divide the block into crown portion this will be your crown and this will be your root so this will be your crown portion and this will be your root portion. For better understanding, I have separated into crown. This will be your crown and this will be your root portion. So this will be the demarcation line that is the cervical line. Okay. And this will be your crown and this will be the root portion. So crown we have the difference that is this should be your labial aspect. Okay. So we should mark this one as buccal or labial aspect. Okay. So this will be your buccal aspect. I have marked for better understanding. So this will be your distal aspect. So crown layer than distal aspect. Root layer this will be the distal aspect. This will be your lingual aspect. Can you see that lingual aspect? Okay, I have marked as L, and this will be your mesial aspect. So we, you can see that I have marked in all the four surfaces, and this will be finally your incisal end. This portion. Okay, this portion will be your incisal aspect. So I will start with the crown portion first. Okay, so I am having the demarcation line preparation this is a cervical line okay so i'm marking it on all the surfaces okay so so first of all this will be the incisor this will be the cervical line and this portion will be the root portion according to the dimensions we should do the preparation okay so so we should reduce this portion of wax for preparing the proximal surface that is the mesial and the distal surface so you can see this so, mesial preparation and for distal preparation, this way of wax removal is suggested. Okay. So, this is for mesial and distal aspect. So, I am preparing the crown buckle surface. So, cervical line should be marked for better understanding. You can see. The wax should be removed in such a way for proper finish. The root should be prepared in certain portions by removing that wax below the cervical line simultaneously okay and then uh, you can see so you can see this preparation part of incisal end this is your lingual portion so this will be your fossa future fossa so the fossa will be much compromised when compared to the central incisor. 
okay this will be your marginal ridges these two things will be your marginal ridges okay so gradually you should reduce the size and the cervical line dip will be that is if it is this should be an ECL dip this will be your depth of curvature okay and similarly this will be your distal depth of curvature so these things should be marked and then carved so it doesn't vary from natural preparation so after removing the wax you can see the after removing the wax you can see this will be your buccal aspect you can see the proximal surfaces okay and then you can see the lingual surface can you see this so we can see buccal aspect lingual aspect and then the proximal aspect so this is how it will come once the trimming part is done so i have done the round part now let's see what to do in the root part okay what sort of tilt or what sort of morphology we need to do will be done and i'll show you in this demo i'm doing the root portion so gently hold the block so you may fracture the wax block and the carving should be smooth enough so that it doesn't get dipped into the wax block if it is getting dipped in there may be a fracture line here and there or it may fracture or break so there should be an apical preparation so you can see this so some more preparation i will show so you can see the carving right now so i have done the basic preparations and the almost final morphology has been created to a natural size this is your buccal aspect you can see the crown you can see the root portion okay and then you can see the lingual aspect okay fine so this is about the lingual aspect and then uh, can you see the distal tilt towards the that is the root tip tilting towards the distal aspect so this is the distal portion of the tooth and this will be the mesial portion of the tooth okay thank you so the final completed work you can see see you can see the root portion as well as the crown this is the final outcome so you need to do the preparation in such a way the light should reflect over the crown surface this much polish and shine should be there so hope you understood the carving and the polishing of maxillary lateral incisor thank you i expect the same work from your people thank you